Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Transport Fever 2 Megalomania and since last time I've been looking around the map and I found there's three towns that are still not connected uh, and I'm actually going to start out by uh, connecting Des Moines here. Uh, now uh, the uh, closest connection points are Evansville and uh, Charlotte and I'm going to actually do a connection all the way across to Charlotte. Uh, the reason for that is it gives a uh, another river crossing and it probably improves the overall transport network. So uh, uh, this is going to start out by uh, well I'm gonna start out here uh, okay yeah that's just a uh, single point-to-point -point service I can actually just extend this to Des Moines and then over it up to uh, Charlotte there. Uh, and that's what I'm going to do. Right, okay, so uh, I guess the uh, thing to do is start plumbing, eh? Uh, right, so I need to go this way. So I need to come around this side of the, uh, the hill there. Okay, so start out. Uh, go around a corner. Uh, yeah. That's always fun to go around a corner right out of the gate. Uh, and, I, and we can still keep going around the corner, I think. Uh, and are we going to get something hideous here? Well, not so much hideous as bizarre. Okay, well, that'll do. Uh, anyway, uh, I need to come around this way. So... Uh, huh, interesting. Uh, right, so we have a cut, and now we're on an embankment. Uh, that, that's uh, always fun. Now, uh, where is... Okay, yeah, I need to come around that. Which side? Uh, this side, I think. Okay. Well, I can go straight for a bit here. Come on. There we go. Uh, right, so... Uh, my goal here is to get everything connected up with passengers, and then uh, I will probably leave this one aside uh, for a bit. Uh, yes, I, I tell you, I, I've got uh, 400 odd uh, million uh, in the bank, and uh, there really isn't a lot of challenge in uh, connecting passengers anymore on this map. Uh, obviously, I could go on to cargo. Uh, but that's uh, just uh, insanely tedious. Uh, right, okay. Now, out of curiosity, do I come back up out in a reasonable spot? I do. Well. Well, let's take the tunnel then. Yeah, good. Now, I just need to put up a uh, station here which is obviously going to be in, in where this road is. Uh, so, uh, right. Well, it's going to be exactly where the track ends there, I think. So, uh, buildings, that's where they are. I need uh, two tracks. Uh, there we go. There's a station. Now, uh, you know the drill by now, if you've been watching, so it's time for one of these. Come on. There we go. We have one of those. Uh, why did I do that? Okay, and then we have uh, a need of a street coming in over here. And I think... We just uh, whack in a... Uh, station here and a and a stop over here uh, right and uh, a Dewey okay yep that's a Dewey and uh, we got a Tramify uh, yeah right good yep right you're gonna keep saying that aren't you well, no, probably not. Right. You just said it again. I guess I did. 
Uh, now, uh, I think we're going to want two of these. And we'll put that on a new line that goes here, 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 and back here. And this is going to be local Des Moines Crosstown. Okay, that gets us the uh, local there. Now, uh, I want to bring it across to Charlotte, uh, which means, uh, oh, let's uh, get time rolling here. Uh, that means uh, I can put here uh, an extra track, right? And then uh, I can actually lay some tracks. Okay, first thing we need to do is get this thing uh, out of here. Uh, and we're going to have to go around this, so yep, that looks about right. And we need uh, one of these. And it can go out this way. Yep. Now, uh, we need to come out of this station and crank it around a bit. Uh, right. So, uh, yeah, okay, that'll, uh, that'll do. Now, I'm not going to get a navigable bridge out of this, I don't think. Uh, I think I came around too far around on the angle there. Okay. Uh, right. Now, where the station's... Okay, I want to go by on that side. So, we're going to need to go this way. And, yeah, the bridge isn't navigable. Um, right. Uh... What, what do I uh, want to stick in here? Well, I'm going to stick one of these. Or maybe one of these. Yeah, one of those. And yeah, we'll just raise it just a little bit just because, you know, a CDO and uh, navigable waters, right? And that's not too bad of a hump. So uh, we're, and we're up to trains that can handle minor humps without too much trouble. Now, we want to keep going around here, uh, and I'm going to keep it level here, because that will give us better uh, level crossings, as you can see. Uh, now, I need to, uh, well, I'm going to need to lose that road, because it's definitely in the way. Now, uh, that's the right-hand one. We should be able to just connect that up. Yep. Now, of course, what we're going to do is uh, just uh, uh, modify the existing line that uh, went in at the other town there, and then fling a, maybe fling a couple more trains up it. Uh, right, okay, that gets us that connection. So let's uh, take a boo here and look at the, uh, the line. So we'll manage the line, and uh, we'll add a station over here and over here and then over here and then over here and then we'll uh, take a look at the line again uh, and yeah that looks sensible uh, right uh, so this is going to be the We'll call it the Des Moines line. So that's ICR Des Moines line. Okay. Now we'll manage the vehicles because we got. Uh, we're going to uh, replace uh, replace them. Uh, right. So now uh, we have uh, we have locos. Uh, okay. We have the mogul at seventy five. Uh, yeah, we're still going with the mogul and passenger. Uh, these are passenger cars. Uh huh. And there's four of those. Right. Uh, you know what? I think I think four of those on here will be fine as well uh, with the clear story. 
Uh, so I'll replace those. And I think I want four trains on there, so I'll duplicate those. And that gets that line running. Right. Uh, so uh, let's uh, grab this one here and uh, up tempo on the, uh, the, the clock. And uh, let's go for a ride. So uh, we're coming up on Des Moines. Uh, okay. Well, that's not too terrible. And then we got a tunnel pop up there. I am, of course, going to have to put signals on here. But I just want to see the, uh, the line run for a bit here. Okay, and we come out of the tunnel. And there's the station. And we stop. And there were no passengers. And then we chuff along to the uh, to the bridge, which has a bit of a hump, but not so much as you'd really notice. All right, and there's that uh, factory thing, uh, industry. That's what they're called, industries. Right? So this ground is not nearly as level as it looks from uh, above, is it? We got all these cuts and embankments coming along here. But keeping the track level just uh, feels right. So, or level-ish. And here we go into uh, Charlotte. And then uh, we head on back. Yeah, uh, so this is working. Uh, I don't think we need to watch it all the way back. It's not terribly exciting. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll just go ahead and uh, plumb in some signals here. Uh, right. So we definitely need one here. And we need some, you know, spread out along here. Uh, yeah. So go there. And uh, there. And there. And we'll need some here. And I think here. Now, we definitely need some here. And we'll whack some in here. Uh, over here seems good. And this seems okay. I do kind of wish there was a, uh, a tool where you could, uh, you know, put a uh, batch of signals along a track, uh, spread out uh, based on uh, some, uh, uh, some aspect of the, uh, like the distance, right? spread out uh, based on on that and maybe maybe handling a little bit uh, on the uh, on the uh, you know switches and so on uh, but being able to say okay go put signals on this line every one kilometer would uh, would make it a little bit nicer as far as uh, uh, signaling a long line where you're gonna fling a lot of trains on it Okay, so uh, this is uh, not picking up passengers to Charlotte. Um, how many are here? Oh, well, that would be why. Uh, I'm going to need to fling uh, a couple more of those on there. Uh, right. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, now they're uh, going to Charlotte. Okay. 
definitely, uh, you, you definitely, uh, uh, this is uh, going to uh, uh, get things rolling here. Uh, this may actually help the old core uh, area that we started with, the uh, Long Beach uh, uh, area over here with all of this mess. Uh, let's just uh, take a boo at Long Beach. It's up to 804. Um, you know, we've got uh, an emissions issue, uh, but uh, clearly uh, this uh, Long Beach is doing pretty good. Uh, where's the and then uh, McAllen was the other town I started with uh, and it's doing pretty good considering what I'm feeding it uh, so we've got a uh, pretty decent uh, destinations uh, thing we got yeah we got pretty good for destinations for uh, for, for um, uh, Long Beach uh, private transport is improving as well so uh, yeah I have to say uh, that's doing okay. Uh, I'm sure there's a, a bunch of uh, uh, tuning that can be done here. Uh, right. Well, let's just, uh, while I'm here, I'll take a look. Uh, the Des Moines uh, line, we got lots of uh, passengers waiting. Uh, and that's... Uh, now, where are the trains? Okay, there's one. Um, question is, uh, when does the, uh, uh, when does it actually, uh, the trains arrive here? Uh, right, okay, so that's, that one came. Okay, well, we, well, we've taken a few, so I think that's, Okay, so that one just loaded up. Uh, right, that's uh, different. Okay, uh, which one is it? Uh, the Des Moines one. Okay, it's this side. Uh, so we got one coming up here. I might need longer trains on this. Might need to put a fifth car on them. Because I think four trains is enough. Okay, so this will drop it. Uh, because that's end of line, so it should drop it down quite substantially. Uh, right, so was it just the waiting for all the uh, trains to uh, link up? Yeah, I think maybe it was. Because these are fast trains, right? So, or comparatively. Actually, that's what I should do. I should uh, update my trains. Uh, that will help a lot. Uh, so, let's, uh, let's take a look at uh, this line. Uh, manage vehicles. Uh, this one has, it, it has a capacity of 70. Okay. Well, we'll replace these with the same consist we've been uh, messing with here. Uh, a mogul and uh, uh, four clear stories good and uh, this one uh, has a capacity of 56 uh, but you know what uh, I'm going to uh, replace those as well uh, right uh, locos uh, mogul uh, and we'll replace those and this one uh, that one is uh, running about the same so I'll replace that with the same consist uh, right okay uh, locos and then mogul uh, one, two, three, four. Replace. Yeah, so that gets us faster passenger transport in and out of uh, Long Beach. 
Uh, and that, that should, uh, you know what? Uh, I definitely need to uh, modify these. Uh, no, edit. Uh, right, so we want uh, passenger with clear story on that one, that one, that one, and that one, modify, good. Uh, okay, so that gives us uh, five car uh, consists on there. So that will, uh, that should catch it up uh, or keep, have, or should let it keep up better. Uh, I'm sure there's other uh, trains that I could be uh, upgrading. Uh, I might actually need a fifth train on there too. Uh, maybe. But yeah, this is quite a uh, busy hub here, actually. Uh, I forgot I did all this weird stuff over here. Right. So having the... Uh, Having the uh, this connection here uh, should uh, that should make the network function a lot better. I think. I'm sure I could update all this uh, cargo stuff that's going on there as well. Uh, right. So this is going to take uh, well a, a whacking great chunk of the uh, waiting. Uh, that's a long line. Okay, where does it go? Right, Evansville, Des Moines. Uh, What's it, uh, yeah, that's a long line. I think I need another train on there. Uh, okay. Uh, manage, duplicate. Okay, well that should be enough to, uh, to keep things moving. But that shows that there was a lot of latent demand there. So, uh, building a, uh, Building another uh, setup there uh, certainly uh, helped. Now, where is it uh, flinging that uh, new train from? Uh, where are you? Oh! So you come up here. You know what? Let's just ride this and uh, see where things are going. Uh, we're going for Evansville. Right, so we'll see what happens here. Uh, I mean, we haven't looked at this thing in a while, right? So, yeah, coming around. Uh, oh, look, it's a train. Okay. I'm always amused when it finds some uh, unknown way to get somewhere, or some way I've forgotten about, or something obscure. Because uh, this has to uh, connect up with that with that line somewhere, but where? Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, uh, all th this this faffing about with Long Long Beach and so on is uh, definitely uh, definitely where I'm going to leave this off. But uh, okay, well here's Evansville. Uh, right. Okay, yeah, it just it got us onto the right line. I'm just not sure how. That was fun. Uh, right. Uh, so I'm not going to do too much more here. Uh, I'm just going to uh, uh, straighten out a little bit there. Uh, you, you know, see if this straightens out the uh, passenger count at Long Beach there. 
And uh, from there, I guess the next episode I'll be uh, linking in one more of the uh, disconnected towns. Uh, and then after that, uh, I think there will be one more episode linking the third remaining, or the other remaining town. And, and then maybe I'll have one more episode with the, uh, that express link that I was talking about, uh, last time. And from there, maybe I'll, uh, do some, uh, rejiggering with the, uh, freight lines. Uh, around the core there, around Long Beach. Uh, and that, uh, like, if I get on that, that could be a few episodes, or maybe not. And then from there, I'm really leading toward a new series with a smaller map. Uh, but, you know, maybe not. Maybe I'll stick with this for a while longer. Uh, I keep seesawing on that. I'm not sure one way or the other. So, uh, I'll one or two of you that actually watch this, uh, what would you like to see? Uh, would you like to see me faff about more with this map? Uh, or would you like to, uh, would you like to see me get stuck into something new? And if you want to see me get stuck into something new, uh, any suggestions on what to get stuck into? Uh, I'll just say, uh, right off, uh, do not suggest the, uh, Dune Canyons map from Colonel Failure. Uh, as fun as that looks like it could be, well, the colonel's already doing it. So, yeah. Uh, it, it just doesn't seem like the uh, smartest uh, suggestion now, does it? Uh, well, I guess it doesn't need to be smart, does it? No, no, I guess it doesn't. But anyway, uh, what do you think? Uh, should I continue faffing about with this, uh, connect up freight, uh, or... Uh, or should I uh, should I start a new map with uh, uh, with a different uh, set of uh, uh, challenges on it? Like say one with uh, water, where shipping is a thing. Uh, you, you know, on on boats, actual boats. Uh, yeah, uh, or some or something else altogether. Uh, let me know what you think if you think anything at all. Uh, right, okay, so we're coming up here, we're at Des Moines, and we're grabbing a massive load of passengers. Oh look, it's autosave. Here we go, yep, it was autosave. Okay, this is coming out of our uh, fancy tunnel here. Right. You know, it's kind of uh, kind of fun just riding the trains around for a bit, you know. Uh, especially when you know you don't have to worry about going bankrupt in the background while you're doing it. You know, that's uh, that's something about the game. Uh, you know, it could probably stand a more challenging free play mode. Uh, like the existing mode is good uh, for those of us that. Uh, Basically, like, uh, playing with it as a giant model railroad type thing. Uh, you know, a virtual model railroad and what have you. Uh, but I think uh, for uh, certain uh, aspects of it, uh, a slightly more difficult economic sim, uh, uh, you know, could be, uh, could be beneficial. Now, doing something like just adding... Uh, uh, just adding, um, uh, you know, inflation or something is not the solution. Uh, we need something a little more, um, uh, some, something that uh, limits uh, profitability a little bit uh, more later on. Uh, I'm not sure what that would be. Uh, maybe it's changing the uh, curve on uh, running costs versus, uh, uh, versus income uh, or what have you, but uh, I find uh, once I've got a uh, core network established, it's nearly impossible to lose money. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I, I, I don't know what the answer is. It's not an easy problem. Uh, I'm sure the uh, folks at Urban Games would uh, love to know what a good solution would be. Uh, but, yeah, for I just can't think of it. Uh, right, so we have arrived back here at basically the hometown. 
Uh, right. Let's uh, stop following that. Uh, okay, yeah. Now the passenger counts are a little bit saner. Okay. Uh, right. Now over here, how are our passenger counts doing? They're doing okay. But this one uh, could stand uh, the, the line to be uh, managed a bit here. Uh, so this is... They're 55 capacity and they're over... Okay, so, well, if I replace this, whoops, with, again, a mogul, and if we go with uh, clear story, I think we can get away with three cars on this one and uh, see how things uh, go with that. Uh, right. Uh, where is a, a train on this one? Uh, yeah, I think the, that even the three cars might be overkill on that one. Uh, anyway, uh, I think that's the last little bit I'm going to uh, mess with here. Uh, Long Beach could stand uh, some uh, public transport being added, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Uh, no, I did that before. Yeah, it's it's okay. Uh, we'll just check in on Long Beach once more. Uh, we've got uh, destinations up to a hundred percent. So we're pretty much maxing out the public transport in Long Beach. Uh, yeah, right. So that's a, that's actually pretty good. Uh, it might be worth uh, playing this map a little longer to see how big Long Beach can get. But anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's some issues with uh, cargo supplies. So, yeah. Uh, wait, while I'm looking at this, um, can we replace this with a better truck? Uh, what is this? Horse-drawn carriage. Cargo. Uh, is the can, the can stat carries five, and this is the horse-drawn carriage. Which one? European horse-drawn carriage carries four. Um, you know, let's do that. Uh, that certainly, uh... That'll certainly help the uh, transport there. Uh, it might actually uh, get too much transport on the line, but uh, I think it will uh, it will probably help a bit on the emissions front. Uh, right. So this one also. Uh, I think we'll replace these ones too. Uh, replace them with the uh, can stat. Uh, it just because they're faster, they'll uh, deal with uh, hills a little bit better. Uh, yeah, so uh, now that line's going to have more vehicles on it than it needs. I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. No, well, maybe it's okay. Uh, right. Uh, so that will uh, that will just keep things moving just a little bit better. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, that's enough. Uh, uh, futzing around there. Uh, so next time around, I'll be connecting up one of the other towns and maybe messing about with some of this stuff again. And uh, yeah, uh, I guess uh, I, I guess uh, see you back for the next part.